Austin 25 Morning News starts right now. Now at 4.30, shipping down to Houston. The Red Sox are set to leave for Texas today. But we still don't know who will take the mound for game one of the ALCS tomorrow. COVID vaccine boosters taking center stage for the FDA starting today now. Why the extra shot from a local company is not a done deal. And it may not feel like it now, but winter is coming. And so are bigger bills for heating homes. The big increase government officials are warning that Americans need to watch out for. All right, good Thursday morning. Hope your morning is off to a fantastic start. I'm Heather Hedgeta. And I'm Nicole Oliveria. We're talking about another warm day. Mm -hmm. We are starting with the chill in the air. My AC kicked on yesterday. It did, really? Yeah. I took my window units out, so we're out of luck. Okay. We're just suffering. <laughs> uh, meteorologist Sherry Spear is here. Sherry, I guess we just, you know, got to suffer for now. I I'm did, too. <laughs> I did, too. All right, so we've got temperatures right now in the 50s and 60s. Although mild in Boston at 61 degrees, we've got a lot of mid-50s in Danvers, Woburn, Weston, Norwood this morning. Sharon's checking in at 55 degrees. We've got some 60s down across the Cape and the Islands and more of those 50s in Auburn, Marlboro and in uh, Fitchburg right now. Now out in Western Massachusetts, we've got some fog again like the last couple mornings locally you might encounter a couple areas with patchy fog initially this morning i think it burns off quickly we go from temperatures in the 50s in the greater boston area back into the 70s this afternoon so if you liked how it felt yesterday it will feel similar i do think we're going to work in a little more cloud cover and we're going to talk about how much longer these well above average october temperatures will last coming up here's katherine prada with the latest on the roads all right, 431 right now. Let's take you out for a live look at the Zakem Bridge Lever Connector. Actually, you know what? I want to start first with this video. So who could forget this scene? This was 24 hours ago in Revere. And what a mess we had there at Brown Circle, Broadway Circle. Of course, that was the tractor trailer rollover with the fuel spill involved. We had major road closures even into the night. Well, the good news is I am seeing from MassDOT they expected to have all of that reopen for this morning. So good news if you're a commuter in the Saugus or Revere area. Fingers crossed for a smoother commute overall. Here's the Zakem Bridge Lever Connector lit up in purple for the Massachusetts Emergency Nurses Association. Everybody moving well on both of those stretches, taking you over to our map right now. Northwest, south of Boston looking good. Again, everything in Revere reopened. I'll be back in 10 with a look north. Thank you. Breaking overnight police in Lowell roping off a large crime scene there as part of an investigation. This was the scene on Loring Street right after midnight and you can see police out there searching the pavement with flashlights. Right now we are reaching out to police and the district attorney's office to try to learn more about this investigation for you. 441 right now on your Thursday, the Supreme Court appears to be ready to reinstate the death penalty for the Boston Marathon bomber. Coming up, the arguments that have several justices siding with the jury and reaction from survivors who are watching this case closely. And from takeout orders to prepared foods, apparently we are all drowning in a sea of salt. Uh-oh. The new FDA guidance now, though, for a healthier diet. It tastes so good, though. I all right. Know. I'm a big salt eater. <laughs> but first, prepare to pay more to heat your home this winter. Why our monthly bills could be hundreds of dollars more than last year. Before every playoff win, he's worn the shirt. Baseball was my sport growing up, so I have that superstition. This Friday, Kevin will wear it again. Should I wash it is the question, guys. No, we won't wash it. Who doesn't love the smell of a Red Sox win? <laughs> Red Sox Astros ALCS Game 1, Friday at 7 on Boston 25. 25 investigates, uncovering, exposing, revealing the issues affecting you. 25 investigates, getting you results. 